Wondering why there are light bulbs here in the museum? It's true, they are made of glass, but there's another reason that's also important. When the inventor Thomas Alva Edison was trying to convert his dream into a reality and make a colorless glass envelope to protect the filament of his light bulb, Koning figured out how to do it, and the first glass light bulb was blown in Corning, New York in 1879. They sure don't look like they've changed much in over a hundred years. On the left, that small bulb is a replica that was made on the 50th anniversary of that very first light bulb. And it shows you exactly the size and shape of Edison's first light bulb. And of course, once the invention had been perfected and once production on a huge scale started, electric light bulbs were everywhere, made by the millions, literally. What's the yellow thing with all the bulbs sticking out of it? It looks like something you'd see at an amusement park. This highly decorative pear-shaped device is a light bulb tester. And if in the um, 1920s or 30s you went to your local hardware store, you would screw your light bulb into one of the sockets around the tester and see whether it worked properly. Hmm. I wonder if kids back then were always being reminded by their moms not to leave every light in the house on.